and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Breibel, joined by Brooks Monaghan. Coach, one match to talk about, and it's good news. Anytime you can go down to Orlando and grab a win, that is a well-earned victory against the program like the Knights. Yeah, extremely proud of the girls. Um, was it was definitely a tough game. And, uh, you know, Central Florida, they're always good. Um, very well-coached team, very talented team. So to get out of there, you know, victorious is uh, – uh, was 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 fantastic. Uh, a couple of first time goal scorers, at least for the season. Momo and McKenzie get goals for you. Momo is a player that I've you know I've seen a lot this year. Gets a lot of touches, uh, and I know maybe you're looking for her to be a little bit more aggressive sometimes when she has some looks. But she took advantage of it last week. Yeah, no, very. Um, was, it, I was we were very pleased for her to get her first goal, mm-hmm. and you're, you're you're spot on. I mean. She's very, very talented, you know, a very technical player. We do want her to be, you know, a little bit more selfish at times and just, you know, kind of, you know, kind of kind of accept that, you know, part of her responsibilities is to score goals as well. So t- to see her get her first one, um, you know, hopefully that just gives her that much more confidence, uh, you know, moving forward. But, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a year where, you know, we just don't have a ton of goals from one player. They've come from, you know, a lot of players. I think now we're up to like 13 different people, different kids that have scored. And, you know, that's pretty rare. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a coach. You don't care where they come from as long as they come. So um, able to get the job done. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was it was a very good win. Uh, UCF didn't go down with without a fight. They scored a goal really uh, fairly quickly after Momo got hers. And, they had a couple of chances late, but uh, your defense able to uh, to hold them off. Yeah, no, they, they did. And a team like that, they're going to get their chances. And, uh, you know, it's a bit disappointing. We, we, we kind of had a little bit of a, 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 a breakdown within our within our system and, you know, gave up that goal. Uh, not to take anything away from them, not right. creating it, but uh, was a little bit disappointed, actually very disappointed in how we gave that goal up. But, um you know, again, was able to hold on to it. And, you know, good game. You know what? But I, I thought the kids deserved it on the night. Coach, you, you, kind of a scheduling quirk, just the way it worked out. Uh, you, you got, you're in the middle of a, a gap of almost, a, well, it's not an almost, it's a two-week gap. So you go over to Tulsa next week. And then uh, that, that following uh, Sunday is going to be a home match with Cincinnati. Just worked out that way. And I'm sure it's something, if you were a banged up team, it would be great. Uh, but you never want that much time uh, in, inside a conference play. But, you know, that that is what it is right now. Well, I think it came at a good time, Jeff. I mean, look, we've had a very, very tough uh, mm-hmm. schedule up to this point. And, you know, people don't always see that kids, you know, just because they play doesn't mean kids aren't banged up a little bit. So it, 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 it it's allowing us, um, you know, to take care of some of those knocks for sure. Um, it, it also allows us to do a little bit more coaching because the way our s- season is, it's, you know, you've got, when you got two games in one week, you don't get a lot of time to train or really get after it. So I think there's a fine balance and I think we're doing, we're handling it very well right now of, uh, of, you know, being able to take advantage of this time to sharpen some things up, but also let the kids um, rest a little bit, clear their mind and just get ready for that second half of the season. I guess that's a good point mentally, too. It's really good because this is the part of the season. Usually when you're playing one, a lot of times two matches in a week, you get into that that those, those dog days of the season where things are get mundane and monotonous. And, and yep. here you got a couple of weeks. So when you go, hopefully, uh, when you go into the back half of the season, they're they're eager to get back on the pitch and, and, and let's go. And that's 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 the plan, you know. And like I said, we're not having long practices. You know, it's short and sweet, get in, put your head down, put in the work and, uh, and then take advantage of the time off. But, uh, so again, I think it's, it's, it comes at a good time. Um, we're trying to make the most of it and, uh, you know, Thursday or next Thursday will be here before you, before you know it, but hopefully at the end of the day, the girls are, are, are hungry and eager to, to, you know, by that time that Thursday comes to, to, to play another game. I guess for you and the coaches too, it gives you a chance to recharge as well and a chance to to sit back and, and really watch uh, some of the matches from around the league. No, that's right. That's right. I've been, you know, this this weekend I watched a lot of college soccer in all fairness. But uh um, 
you know, it does. We're, listen, it doesn't matter. We all need little breaks in life for whatever, whatever we do, you know? And, um, and so this is nice, nice for the kids, nice for us. And, uh, you know, hopefully it just allows us to re-energize and, 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 and come into the second half of, of the season firing on all cylinders. Coach, we'll catch up with you next week and we'll take a closer look at Tulsa and Cincinnati. We appreciate your time. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. That is Brooks Monaghan. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. Mm-hmm.